In this session today, we're gonna to talk about how to basically integrate Power Automate with SharePoint Online. Very simple integration in this case, but I did think it would be kind of fun and helpful to take you through that. Hello from BI Consulting Services. This is Nicole uh, back at you again. Uh, really focused in on this series and really kind of digging into Power Automate and some of the benefits and things we can use it for. So without further ado, let's kind of jump in. All right, so the very first thing we're gonna do, if you haven't already, you can create a SharePoint site for all the things that we're doing. Generally just create a communication site, pretty basic. I'm not gonna go through and create that here today because I've already got a site that I'm gonna use for the sake of this session, but create a communication site. And once that site is created, you should see something that looks very similar to this. You can create whatever template you want. It really doesn't matter. For, for this one, I'm just basically using some simple integrations. So once you're on this page, once you've created your communication site, for this one, we're gonna create a list. So basically what we're gonna do here is create a blank list that we can use as a form integration uh, within Power Automate, and then we can do submittal. So pretty straightforward, we're gonna create a list. That list is gonna get input from the Power Automate, Automate flow that we're gonna set up here together. So let's name that list. We'll just do a blank list. Let's call it employee feedback survey. Okay, so we have a title. Uh, we can always rename. I think this is just a new feature which you used to not be able to rename the title. Let's just leave it as it is. We'll call that employee title just for simplicity's sake, but it is pretty cool that you can now change the title column. It's very helpful inside of here. It used to be that you could not change that at all. Uh, let's do a multi-line text. We'll just call it full name. We'll add a choice column and we'll call it Satisfaction score. How satisfied are you uh, with working at Bix? Let's just use that. Let's do highly satisfied. Let's do satisfied and not satisfied. All right, no default options. We won't make any additional selections here. We'll just hit save. We'll do a multi-line text. We'll call it additional feedback. Okay, just giving folks the ability to kind of add some open-ended context there just in the event that they've got feedback and they want to elaborate on it further. We'll hit save. All right, we've got our three columns in there. Okay, so again, we've created a fairly straightforward employee feedback survey form. We'll say it's their title, full name, what their score is, and any additional feedback that you wanna give. So from here, we'll go ahead and land out on Power Automate. Inside of Power Automate, we're gonna go ahead and hit the create option. So we're gonna go ahead and trigger an instant cloud flow in this case. Let's call this, you can make this as long as you want. This is kind of long, uh, but employee feedback survey submittals. We'll, for this example, we're gonna manually trigger this flow and we'll hit create. All right, as you guys know from my last video, I'm gonna go ahead and switch out of the new designer. Eventually I'll do some content in the new designer. I haven't gotten there yet. Uh, so for the sake of the session today, I'm going to skip that part. So the very first thing you do in a manually triggered flow is basically all the inputs you just tossed inside of your form need to be recognized as column input. So we're going to create that as the very first step. So we've got one, two, three, four columns here. So you should see in the end four input fields here. They'll all be text fields. So I'm going to go ahead and add the four uh, inputs, and then we'll go ahead and make sure that each one of these are essentially named exactly as they are on the SharePoint site. Uh, so we've got title, full name, Let's start with those.
think that's what we've got. Let's make sure this is just additional feedback. All right, perfect. Okay, so we got the four inputs in here. So now we wanna hit the next step option. And this is basic where we're gonna choose the operation or action that we're gonna perform. And in this case, we're actually just going to create items inside of our SharePoint site. Remember, so we've got that blank form input there. We're gonna use this flow to create items inside of that. So you can go and search for the word SharePoint. And then you'll just kind of skim through the actions that are available here until you get to the one for create items. All right, here's the create item option. From here, you're just gonna look for, or you're gonna copy in your SharePoint URL. There's a few ways to do this. Generally, you just need this front part right here. All right, so this is what I would normally just toss in. You can put in the entire URL if you'd like. And the system should recognize that you're trying to go to a different uh, location. So you'll see here, it recognized it instantly. I'll just click it. And you'll notice in the far left-hand corner, basically it's saying, hey, we realize you put this whole URL in. What you're really looking for is this and gives you the option to select that as your uh, input. So in case you've missed that one, we'll go ahead and toss it back in. Uh, and then just dynamically kind of recognizes that, that is, that's the URL that you're looking for. Then you'll go and you'll find your list. Uh, in this case, we're gonna do the employee feedback survey. After you do that, the system's gonna dynamically go and see what all the inputs are within this form. And so you'll automatically see we've got title, full name, satisfaction score, and additional feedback here. So for, for these, you could hard code these in. Uh, you don't wanna do that because these are gonna be dynamically inputted fields by the folks doing these form submittals. So in this case, when you click into the field, uh, you're gonna see that some dynamic content pops up to the far right. When you're inside of this dynamic content, you would just scroll through until you see the fields that are associated with the form that you just created. Title, of course, is the very first field, and that is the one we wanna grab first because that's gonna be a dynamic field pulled in uh, based on what the user inputs when they do the form submittal. Full name, same logic, right? We're gonna go and grab the full name. The same here, so this was a drop down option. You could select one of these three. In this case, we're not gonna do that because it's gonna basically default it to highly satisfied as much as we wanna do that because it's an employee feedback survey. For the sake of showing you guys how this works, uh, I'm gonna bypass that and just hit enter custom field and go grab the satisfaction score uh, input. And then we're gonna do last but not least, the additional feedback option. So once you do that, you can save your flow once your flow's saved, oh, here we go. You'll see this input one more time. So basically it's saying, hey, we trimmed this down for you. So it's the exact uh, SharePoint list location that you're expecting. And you can just say, got it, right? So this is pretty cool. Used to, you would just be able to put that shorter name in only. Uh, Power Automate's got smart now and they'll actually trim it for you. So a great enhancement to the functionality of Power Automate. We'll hit got it. We're going to go ahead and test the flow. This is sort of the final step. So I always like to say frequently, since this was the very first action to create item input, it was the very first time we would be able to save it. But now it's time to go ahead and test the flow out. We're going to manually trigger this flow and hit the test icon. All right, we'll hit continue. So for title, let's just put in the consultant. Let's put in full name. Let's put in the satisfaction of highly satisfied. And for additional feedback. All right, yep, this video does rock. If you do like the content or if you want us to focus on other things within the Power Automate um, environment, please let us know in the comments section. I'll take a moment here and say, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel go through and look at our content and give us feedback. If there's something that you want us to talk more about, we do send out polls. Uh, so feel free to fill out one of those when they come out. All right, so we ran the flow, we'll hit done here and we'll just test it out. We'll see what happens, right? We wanna see that the flow ran successfully. In this case, it did, there's no errors, no issues. The true test, let's go over here and refresh this Power Automate video submittal. And as you can see, the submittal has successfully been inputted 
Uh, and so we've got the content here. So a very straightforward and simple integration with SharePoint Online and Power Automate basically giving us the ability to write back to a form or a list inside of SharePoint through a button or an, an, an interaction. Um, so again, I hope you found this content to be helpful. Very simple video on some of the benefits and use cases of Power Automate. Again, we will send out some feedback forms on our, on our YouTube channel is where we typically will send those and ask you for what do you want to see? What do you want to hear more about? And so feel free to in, be engaged in those. And we'll continue to send you guys content out. I think we got Power BI tips and, trips, tri tips and tricks was one of the primary focus areas. So you will see even more content coming out on Power BI. So just keep out on the lookout for that. And we appreciate your time today. And again, subscribe and go ahead and watch some of our additional content. We appreciate your time and we will talk to you soon.